So welcome back to this totally accurately new game called Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. It just came out and that statement is totally accurate. Now, before we get into the topic of today's video, which is in a way that there's new secret units in the game, or rather there's new secret ability for a number of units, and these were just, were barely mentioned. So to me, it almost seems like a little Easter egg, a little bit of a secret, a little bit of a, a mystery of sorts to find out which ones there are. We have to do a few changes. Ares needs to be edited, because apparently, Ares is very mad, right? Uh, some would even say he is filled with rage. Well, there's an enrage ability, so we're gonna add that to good old Ares the God of War, known for his rage, and I wanna test him out. So what we did was I wanted to see the Jarl who's here under the Viking faction who did get a price upgrade because, well, he's one of the new units with the secret new abilities. And we had him fight Vlad the Impaler who's under the secret faction. Now, what I said after their duel was, well, that Vlad won the battle, but that was not the case at all. It was one of those where like, I think his color changed a little bit. So I based off what they look like, but yeah, the Jarl who has been haunting my sleep and he's like, you better tell him, you better tell him that I'm, I'm the real champion here. And so Vlad's $1,800, but Vlad's got this awesome new ability, right? Where he can, well, he impales the enemy. So check this out. I actually kind of want to see if he gets multiple impales. He, there he's actually impaled the dude and is flipping him around. And these guys have all been hit with spikes. It kind of reminds me of the old Dark Peasant from the original tabs. So we've seen Vlad fight off a number of enemies, but what about the Jarl? And this is gonna be kind of interesting because I wanna see, he's got this really cool ability that I think is actually gonna be very good at protecting him from ranged fire. So this is kind of what I'm curious. He, he creates that like icicle fortress. Oh, wow. Did he just dodge most of those arrows? He didn't even have like, see, look at this. Okay, the guys didn't survive long and I'm hoping that they fire the arrows now. Okay, the timing was a little bit off. And that is because all of these guys just got wrecked right off the bat because the Jarl is amazing. One sweep, he just kills two guys in one sweep, dodges most of the arrows just through his attack animations. And then he raises the shield wall of ice, but the archers seem to... Oh, wait, were they, were they able to fire through it? Oh, man. Jarl does not do well against range fire. That's interesting. Now, do you think Vlad could do better than that? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. All right, Vlad, can you beat off... <laughs> Can't you beat all of these enemies? Vlad, my man, dude, not here, not now, all right? We, we, got, we got an episode to run. You know, we're, we're running a, a very family-friendly thing here. Okay, uh, they don't do well against archers. Maybe there's just too many archers. Maybe they're too close. We've got to give the Jarl the chance. Maybe if we put him in sooner and the archers a little bit farther away. I want to see if those ice things block arrows or not. And it would be helpful to be able to test that if we actually put archers in. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. Jarl, do your thing. Create the shield wall. Okay. And these guys are just able to fire at exceptional ranges. And they're... He, he's, he's still alive. Are you going to do the shield thing? Do the ice shield thing. I'm trying to do the ability, but I don't have the ability to do it. <laughs> I don't have the ability to do the ability. There it is. I think it's just random. So does it block arrows? I don't think it does. It just doesn't seem like it. And maybe what we need to do to have a better chance at this is just to increase the number of Jarls. This is just classic tabs. More units, more possibilities. All right, Jarls, shield walls, please. Okay, there's one. Yeah, will there be multiple of these Isis? Oh my gosh, you're creating like multiple barriers here. All right, and we're looking for arrows hitting them. Oh, wait, okay, they do block the arrows. We've seen it. Oh my God, that's glorious. Now, as many Jarls as this is, they should, they should be able to easily beat these archers, I think, because A, they have a lot more health now, I think. Like, it's interesting how this guy was kind of a champion unit. You know, he was like, uh, or rather he was a tank unit, but he wasn't like a champion, a true 
special unit for the faction. He just had a lot of health and a big axe, and he just liked to kick butt. But now, with his ability and increased health, and he might even have increased damage, these guys are absolute beasts. So these things, which is part of the new little secret ability update, he's able to block projectiles. I'm kind of curious if we could maybe try it with cannons and ballistas. Now, this is going to be kind of tough, because you really just have to have good luck good luck so what i'm looking to see here okay cannonball hits friendly forces where's the ballista all right oh, ah, it stopped the ballista no way look at how many it stopped the cannonball that's glorious okay so the jarl is like one of my new favorite units man like that ability is huge now, the Jarl and Vlad, the mini Dark Peasant, or I guess Dark Peasant Jr., with his impaling abilities here. Oh my god. Yeah, like, it's the return of the Dark Peasant, like the original Dark Peasant. Well, that's kind of interesting. Do you think Vlad the Impaler could defeat the Dark Peasant? That's a great question. I'm glad you guys asked. Dark Peasant Jr., oh my gosh, versus Dark Peasant Sr. Well, this guy's got grandpa or old man strength. So I think what we need is a, a proper circle here and just Vlad. It's funny though how the uh, legacy faction is actually a lot of units that weren't in the original game. Like we still don't have a chicken man, much less a chicken man man. Oh my gosh. That's something out of like Dragon Ball Z, man. How did he do that? So there are some spears. They're just not popping out of the ground. Is he blocking them? Oh my gosh. That, it's a sonic boom. It's like a reverse black hole, aka an explosion. <laughs> I guess a reverse black hole doesn't make much sense when you say it out loud. Okay, uh, Dark Peasant Jr. can be Dark Peasant. So one of the other ones that got a new ability, allegedly, was Lady Red Jade. And this is, I've learned this because you guys let me know in the comments. And that actually brings up a great question. And the question is twofold. I want you guys to give me some challenges. It's been so long since we've had challenges. And the second part is I'd also love to get your input on what is the next user created faction we can make. Because, so we've got to come up with the ideas as a community here. All right, so back to Lady Red Jade. I think the classic test is like, 10 of these guys, so what's your ability? Oh, you turn into a tornado. And the leaves, I remember seeing another unit with the leaves popping out of it. What was it? Was it the Monkey King? I don't remember. So Lady Red Jade can do a twirl and create a tornado, which seems to just arbitrarily point in any direction. It kind of reminds me of some of the special abilities from like Warhammer Total War 2. Like the burning head, oh man. Could we make a Warhammer faction? I, don't, I would need your help on how we would do it, but that'd be pretty awesome. Okay, so how does a tornado work against arrows? Oh, this is cool, see? So now I'm realizing, obviously, that Lady Red Jade is, oh, that's interesting. So the tornadoes do not affect the flight of the arrows. And can I just say that this is probably one of the amazing, like, this right here, if you would have never seen tabs before and you see this as an image, you're like, hey, that looks like physics. And then you'd immediately, whoa, okay. She can also block projectiles. So the tornado doesn't affect the trajectory of the projectiles. Man, Lady Red Jade, how do you beat her? You have to have melee specialists, I think. Probably one of the best ones, I would guess, would be the chief. But yeah, she is a formation disruptor and an anti-range specialist. She She's actually deflecting arrows back. And that's actually the, a question. Oh, but she did get stuck, so she can't block all of them. Oh, hello, tornadoes. And tornado, oh, never mind. Those guys looked alive until they hit the ground. They, I, I like how units and tabs are like, well, the totally accurate way of holding melee weapons is behind your back or through your legs. All right, Lady Red Jade, beast. Now, along the same lines, when you go to secret units, right near the Lady Red Jade is a unit known as the Sensei. And the Sensei is normally, at least in old tabs, until the unit creator update, it, it just shot tons and tons and tons of ninja stars. So what is the sensei's secret ability? Oh, you may notice something. The sensei is dead and it never made him back. This must be one of the worst secret abilities I've ever seen. Uh, the shuriken, none of these guys hit the sensei. The sensei hit himself. Watch. Oh, and that battle ended so quick. Yeah, he jumps forward, but he jumps forward at a speed that is greater than the shurikens. So they hit him. 
That is so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. That's just totally Aggro Battle Simulator right there. This is like the original tabs where like your archers would friendly fire your own units if they were behind them. Oh, and here's our Egyptian faction. Our Kopesh and Anubis. If you missed Anubis, man, check out our most recent video. What about painters? Painters can dodge. It's just the sensei can't stay alive. This needs to clearly be fixed. So the senseis can dodge. Oh, you know what he does? He does that when you get close. Yeah. If you get too close, he just commits Sudoku and it's over. It's fitting for the sensei. Now, one of the other ones was the Shogun. Now, the Shogun is... He's normally just like a really good melee specialist, just like some junk kick abilities. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we should expect, but we're going to do the classic, you know, start out with a bunch of footmen, 10 to 15. Oh, okay. You got some dodge abilities, but I'm looking for something a little more special. Okay. We've got a glowing katana. Oh my gosh. He just kind of turned into Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, hold on. So we got to have a few more warriors on the field to truly appreciate this. So he'll fight He'll kind of like dodge and then he starts to power up and he lunges through. Okay, so he's powering up. All right. And look, okay, look and hold on. Everybody is at this moment alive. You see their eyes? Okay, now we'll do this in slow motion. And then all of a sudden they're like, wait, what just happened to me, boss? I'm not feeling so good. You can see a little bit of wiggling in their hands and arms and then... <gasps> <laughs> it's a delayed katana strike. Okay, so the Shogun is probably my favorite ability so far in this little secret patch. Oh my god. And if you're just in front of him, dude. Okay, how do you kill the Shogun? With archers? I mean, how do you how do you defeat this? Let's see. He should block. Yeah, just like most samurai units in tabs anyway. He'll block. Now, where does he go? Okay. So that only got three. But when you can block every arrow coming at your way, or probably most of them, should we surround the Shogun? Oh my god. Okay. But let's see if you can sir if you can block a ton of projectile fire. Chuko news on Chuko news. Okay, so the Chuko news should. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't repel fire power to that magnitude, and most people can't. So Shogun is awesome, but I mean, look at this. We had to use twenty nine thousand seven hundred fifty dollars to be three thousand five hundred dollars. So that, that should be expected. But we know that the Shogun can't just infinitely block everything. So one of the other units, it is Ballooner. Now, apparently the Ballooner got a special ability, but it, it's rare is what you guys have told me. See, I would have like, this was such a little secret update. Like they, I think they mentioned something briefly in the patch notes, but if you guys hadn't let me know in the comments, I don't think I would have known. Okay, so we're looking for something special and weird, right? You see anything weird for the Ballooner? I'm not seeing anything crazy. What's this guy doing? Just dancing around? It apparently is random and rare. And look at this, we're, we're creating like conga lines. <laughs> Do something. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't see anything too new, I don't think. But one of the other ones is the main man, the ice giant. Artemis used to be the most expensive unit. And ice giant was, I think it was $5,000. Now, looking at the prices, we've got Artemis is 500 less. I don't think they got a price change. So the Ice Giant got a new update? So $6,000 versus $6,000, who wins? The Ice Giant, what are you calling a, a blizzard? Oh, oh yeah, I think I've seen it. So it's like he's shooting out like fire similar to like the dragon from the Dynasty faction, but it, it freezes the units. Oh wait, I have an idea. This has me thinking. So if there's any other units that have this secret update, let me know because it got that one right there got me thinking. So what we're going to do here is go into the unit creator. Now, the thing we need is we need to go to close and we need to check the head. Oh, there's a snake just that. So this isn't exactly what we want. Hmm. There's some gnarly things here under spooky. Oh, that's that's kind of a a Viking, or maybe that's Hermes' head right there. Whoa, Devil Horns is blued out or whited out. I don't know why. I need snakes. I guess this is the closest we could get is some dreads. I want to make Medusa, but it doesn't look like there's a multi snake head, which is interesting because of how big snakes are in stick fight and tabs now that we've got the snake archer. Gladiators, man, we could make some Roman gladiators. Oh man, that helmet is awesome. And <laughs> this one's kind of funny. 
Well, yeah, I mean, I guess we could try to do it with this. So let's change the colors. <laughs> What's the snakiest color? Eh, this one. See, this is where I can't wait for, like, modded access to this stuff, because the ability here would be the main one, right? So we gotta go to weapons and ice arena, so that's what it is. Here we go, ice breath, okay. But, I mean, there, there, there's so much that we could do, so let me know. There, there's talk of hobbit factions. Could be kind of cool to make a Lord of the Rings faction. Look at this. That looks like the Witch King's crown right there. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We added the enraged ability to Ares. We figured out who actually won between Vlad and Jarl, and we showed off some of the little secret unit updates that have happened in the Unicrator one. Stuff that kind of went under the radar. So if there's any other things that I missed that you think I should check it out, let me know. We're looking for challenges in the next custom faction to make in the Unicrator. So thanks for watching. Pull the trigger and like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.